Welcome to America Trends. I'm your host, Mary Burt Godwin. We're coming to you from Loft 100 Studios in Carlsbad, California. We have an awesome show for you today. We have Tina Randolph Contagenis. She is the president of Eris Talent Agency in Hollywood, here to talk about the SAG after a strike. Uh, and I've known this woman since I was like six years old, I think. And uh, it's really great that she's zooming in today. She's very knowledgeable on the subject. We also have a very special guest. She is Lima Leigh McFarland. She is an MMA fighter, and she's also a Hawaii native, here to talk about ways in which we can help the, the natives in Maui that are really struggling right now, and ways in which we really can uh, help them and not hinder their their growth and their kind of survival through all of this. Um, but first, you know, we gotta do our pop culture trending topic of the day. So we got a two for today because I'm gonna talk about the umbrella topic is Disney. And first topic is Frozen the podcast. Okay, so this this caught my eye because I thought, what? Frozen's everywhere, I swear to God. Uh, it's not like a podcast like Friday Night Lights podcast or the Will and Grace podcast where they talk about the episodes. It's actually a podcast that's got a storyline to it. And it's, a, it's taking place after, it's a fictionalized podcast, taking place after Frozen 2 in the timeline. And it's kind of a storyline about global warming. I wouldn't say kind of. It is directly a storyline about global warming. Um, it's going to feature the two sisters, Anna and Elsa. I don't know if they're going to bring in the big guns, uh, Kristen Bell and Adina Menzel, for the sisters or not. But um, it's going to take place in this time period. It's going to be a little storyline. And I think it's an interesting concept to get younger kids that are interested in Frozen to actually see if they can listen to a podcast. I know my kids think I'm nuts because I listen to podcasts and Audible all the time and they think, how can you pay attention to that? So it will be interesting to see if we can get kids, if we, Disney, can get kids interested in this sort of medium. Um, and I feel like it, it's a good way to kind of circumvent the, the actor strike because now these actors can be put to use using their voices, um, which is pretty interesting. Um, I'll, I'd like to see how this takes off. I don't know, but we'll see. Who doesn't love a little Elsa and Anna action? I don't know. But also this made me think of Snow White movie, the live action version of Snow White. Why does Disney keep trying to make all this money off of live action movies, recreating these old fairy tales? They're, they're not been working. They haven't been working for many, many years. I don't think the last few have done very well. This one, Snow White, this has been in the news from the get-go. Uh, Rachel Ziegler, who I saw first uh, when she was in West Side Story, I gotta tell you, I did, personally was not a humongous fan, but she's got a lovely voice. Um, there's been a lot of controversy because she's a Latina actress. Uh, the whole point of Snow White is that her skin is white, fair as snow. Uh, so, you know, there's been controversy about this um, from the left, from the right, the woke, I don't know. I can't handle all the wokeness everywhere. Um, even I'm saying that, you guys. Um, then also, out of the seven dwarfs, one is a dwarf. I think they're changing the name. They're not even called dwarfs in this. Um, which again is creating controversy like, are we offending the dwarfs? Then is the dwarf community saying, wait, you should put us all to work. I don't know. I just wonder what's really gonna happen with this film and really if we need to see this story being told again. But the one glimmer of hope is that Greta Gerwig of Barbie fame is one of the co-writers on this film. So that's giving me a glitter, glimmer of hope that maybe they're gonna come at this with a whole nother fresh perspective and it might be a little tongue in cheek might be a little fun. I don't know. Let's go out with a quick clip of this Snow White. I think it's a maybe a trailer. I don't know. It's not coming out till next year. Oh, it's coming out my birthday month, you guys. Oh. Do you guys remember what month it is? March 2024 will be my birthday month and also Snow White. Let's go out with the trailer and then we'll see you back here with Who Tina Randolph Contagen. Once upon a time there lived a lovely little princess named Snow White. Her vain and wicked stepmother, the Queen, feared that someday Snow White's beauty would surpass her own. 